What's this? A message from the O5 Council. Fuck. Dismissed. You wanted to see me, sir? I received word that we're supposed to devise an interview with SCP-7567. Okay, but why so short? Because Camille won't be joining us. She's on holiday. What? We can't get near him without getting ripped to shreds. We need somber Camille if we're gonna keep it docile. It even states it here in the documents. The only way to keep SCP-7537 in a docile state is to have a security guard named Somber Kami in the cell during routine cleaning. Save the theatrics. We don't exactly have a choice in this situation. The orders come from the O5 Council themselves. Do they know what happened last time Kami wasn't there? I do. I lost my eye. Look, it's not there anymore. I can tell you're upset. You don't even know. But do you remember what happened during Experiment 3? Yeah, all five D-Class personnel were killed after entering their cell. Acceptable casualties. It helped us learn that SCP-7537 remains calm for about 10 minutes before it enters an agitated state. Besides, we only have to ask him two questions. Pretty specific. Do we have a choice? You know what? Don't answer that. Let's get this over with. So soon, you two. It's only been four days since the last clean. 7537. We have some questions we need you to answer. Where's Kimmy? She's not here today, but we won't be in your way for long. We only have two questions to ask you. I'm sure this won't be a problem. Uh, if it only gets your wretched faces out of my way. Then I guess I can comply. And now... Shall we begin? Carter! Okay, let's see. <clears throat> During your previous life, you have no record of speaking to Samber Kami. And you act like you've known her your whole life. Can you explain this? That is a very intriguing question. However, I must warn you, there is no clean answer. Take what we can get, just explain it the best you can. Very well. The simple answer is that I quite frankly don't know myself. This connection, as you say, is just as much as a mystery to me as it is to you. Whenever I feel that somber to me is in danger and facing death in the face, I have this urge to run to her position protect her with everything I've got. Yes, you breaking the containment shows your dedication. 
even going up against SCP 106 protector. The old man should have known he couldn't beat me after we met that day. Luckily, he knew I wasn't after him. Should have killed him when he had the chance. Yes, I missed the opportunity for me to do your job. <laughs> right. During a cleanup routine the other day, you were expressing fear and alert to your surroundings. Now, may I ask, what was it that you were afraid of? Seven five three seven. Edward Slinker. I don't care if you're already dead or that I'm not authorized to harm you. If you hurt a member of the Foundation, I will drop you! Now answer the damn question! This answer is not at all for the faint of heart, because it was very unsettling. How unsettling are we talking? I was contacted by an anomaly that you don't have in captivity. One that resides outside of our own reality. It spoke with me. It wants to return to our reality and wreak havoc on our world. So, SCP-7537 is now in its rightful containment cell. But, it seems that the Order has started a brand new hunt for him. Thank you so much for telling me this. You're dismissed. Abraham. He couldn't be telling the truth, could he? We can't be certain. SCP-7537 hasn't lied to us since we discovered him. You mean after we created him? Excuse me? I read the unredacted file. When were you going to tell me that SCP-7537 is actually Edward Sinker? Don't you say his name like that. What happened that day is still a mystery even to the Foundation. But what is certain is that you shouldn't have said its goddamn name in front of it. Well, it worked, didn't it? We got an answer. Besides, you don't think it was contacted by an anomaly, do you? Can't be certain. Uh, uh, if they really do what they're up against, can be enough.